Hello. Wouldn't you know it? I just noticed NBC News. The headline in bold Judge delays Trump sentencing in hush money case until after November election. Hush money case. Oh, okay. So somebody was uh, asking me questions today about something. And I said, well, I've never seen it. Uh, I know. I said, I know for a fact some of that is made up. If there's something I don't know that you can show me, I want to see that. Well, because m my reasons, the news. <laughs> the thing what started it was, well, I forgot how it was worded. What do I think about something about Trump? Uh, oh, that was the question. I remember now. What, uh, what do I think about, okay. I guess the question, I still don't understand what was the premise of the question. If that was true, okay, then, and, I don't get it. Yeah, look at my pack I got on here. <laughs> Pure dark. Um, the question was, do I think Trump has privilege? Like, what do you mean? First of all, if I'm asking to clarify, they're already starting to get like kind of upset. And I was like, well, no, just have a have a conversation. You you said something, and then I respond to it. Uh, you're like mentioning um, something is happening to a sports team. Okay, why do you say that? <laughs> See, you 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 obviously don't care about sports, and you think it's this isn't. No, I'm simply asking you to clarify what you're saying so that I can respond to that. Very easy, very simple. <laughs> uh, I, you know, in what way? Like, well, because the fact that, well, they, they, quote, they are letting him something. I'm like, well, hold on. Who's they? Well, well, see, if you don't let me tell you, well, no. If you're telling me I have to know who are you talking about, you're asking me a specific thing. Do I think he's privileged because they pushed the sentencing off until after the election? I, I don't know. Who, who are they? Who are they? Who are you talking about, first of all? Second question. Is that the person that made that determination, or people? Thirdly, what are you talking about? Like, what? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm like, well... I, I, you have to state the premise, first of all. Let me steal men. You know, let me say, okay, this is what you're arguing. Now I can tell you what I think about it. Or if I agree or disagree, what do I think about, like, who's they? Was it a judge or the, he doesn't know. But firstly, I was asking, what, what is the thing, what is the, wait, sentencing? Because I didn't know, uh, I didn't know if, like, he's charged with crimes? He's convicted, like, guilty of crimes in a criminal court? 
He's like, yes, yes, you don't watch the news. I'm like, dude, calm down. I'm just asking you to clarify your position and so that we both know all the facts. And no, I didn't know. I mean, that's not a piece of information in my brain that I know the 34 counts and like all this shit is still undetermined and up in the air. Uh, so I simply said, well, what is he, what is he guilty of? What is he convicted of? What is the charge? When you go in front of a judge or you have a, a criminal case against you, the charge is on paper, very specifically worded, depending on where you are. Oh, this is a low airplane right here. Whoa. You know, it, it's, it's worded differently, different places. And they'll have different charges for different, like you did a thing here, but if you did it, they might call it something else. It's the same thing. What's the charge? He said, the hush money case. I, I'm like, the, the hush money case? I feel like I'm talking to a flat earther at that point. You know, like I'm watching FTFE. The hush money case is the charge. Okay, you're... He goes in front of the char in front of the judge. The hush money. He, he he keeps repeating it. I'm like, no. What is the char? Like, what is he charged with? Hush money. So, uh, the charges put forth against you are hush money. And I wasn't being pedantic. I, I was asking, what is he charged with? My point here, now I'm realizing, I look on the thing, hush money, hush money case, hush money case. He's convicted in the hush money case. <laughs> okay, anyways, do I think he's privileged? The first thing I said, well, if I'm allowed to calmly take a breath and now you allow me to set the pace of the conversation. Stop controlling the pace. Stop controlling the podium. Stop policing my side and asserting yours, demanding I answer for yours. Then when I start speaking, you cut me off and I have to start speaking more quickly and, and, and you're unraveling a web Pivoting from one point to another to another and then spurging all along the way. What do I do? Okay. How many times do I just go, okay, let you, let you finish again. And then you, can you explain that to me? Can you explain that to me though? Okay. Are you asking me to respond? May I respond now? Okay. The way I see it is this. Okay. First of all, yes, ex-presidents are privileged right out of the gate. Firstly, yes, of course. By default, they have privileges that normal citizens don't ever or ever will have. Protection, when they go to jail, they don't go to normal jail. The sentencing certain things like they can pardon themselves if they're in office like there's so many things there there might be accommodations made for a president see and this is what are you arguing because you're presenting one thing and then but what's your actual argument it's a moot point yeah he has privileges but what are you what are you saying that do I think is right or wrong? That's where I'm trying to nitpick and get to the, the meat. What are you you know okay? Like I said, who is they? Who made that determination first of all? 
get to the heart of the thing like where what is the core of it why did that happen firstly not just what did you fucking read in the news and hear what did mainstream media fucking propaganda tell you without any checking why was that determination made who made the determination by what side was it like Trump was like insisting on it then my next question is who approved it who's who has the final say so that's two elements I want to know who initiated it three things if it was Trump was there opposition on the other side and who gave the okay Question number four, then, it would follow. Logic would dictate. I'd want to know, then at that point, whose side, per se, is the determining person on? Because here, here's how it would track. Here's how it would follow. Mike is, you know, uh, Jim's, like, best buddy. And Mike and Jim are against Steve. So Mike says, hey, Jim, let's fuck Steve over and let's get uh, Bill, the judge, to go along with us, and then, but they're fighting against it, so, anyway, you, you, you could fucking figure out where I'm going with that. I'm already confused. Do I have a Biden moment? No. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, anyways, no, just kidding. Um, that's, that, that, that's how I think about it. Okay, where did it originate? Was it a normal thing that happens every day? Is this a normal part of litigation? So let's track the thing. First of all, yes. Uh, I think it was Trump's attorney. I'm not sure. He said, hey, judge and other guy, can we wait till after the election? Because it's going to like interfere with it. Other attorney says, sure, that's fine. That makes sense to us. I I'm pretty sure. And then the judge... If I'm correct, he goes, yep, that, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. My question would be, well, was the judge the determining guy? And then was he on Trump's side? Like, was there a bunch of bullshit that was happening in his favor? Why are you asking me if he has privilege? Does the Pope have privilege among normal people walking around? Yeah, he drives around in a bulletproof fucking box and he has guards and, and like... Does the, the queen or the, when they were alive, she was alive and the king have to, yes. What does it mean? What are you saying? What about it though? Yes, of course they do. Like, okay. So that's a main reason to be against Trump. Orange man bad. Orange man bad is premise. I'm asking reason why question mark. Okay, reasons. W what reasons? The reasons. What do you mean? Well, man, because you just have to watch the news. Right, okay, flat earth discussion here again? Do your own research, man. Dude. Well, okay, let me ask you this. Why do you think this and this and this? Where do I get my... Because I'm watching TV. And everything that I see or read or hear or discern or logically come to a conclusion, everything, everything I can experience consciously, coherently, cognitively, everything I can consume, input, is all, is all wrong and fake. And I'm being duped. Yet, everything they can see is all true and factual. Even though... I have things showing that that is all incorrect and lying and corroborating that the side I'm showing is true. Yet, you don't have that on your side and can't show a single shred of why mine is untrue besides my feelings. Because the news, I, I'm told, no, that's just TV. That's just TV that thousands upon 
thousands of people took to social media saying, why the fuck am I getting duplicate letters in the mail saying I voted three times all this shit? Forms with my name on it. Fucking dead people voting, voting twice when you're dead. This factually occurred. Why did Trump incite a riot then? He didn't. Why do you think that? Man, just read the news. Oh my God. I'm being just pushed and pulled in a circle into darkness and I have the light switch in the light and I know where the light is, but the, he just keeps insisting I go backwards into the room we just came from with darkness. When I tell him there's another door, no, man, you got to see this door. No, that's bullshit. That's the bullshit door. And one by one by one, I'm starting to notice he is just his base argument is literally he's just repeating the mainstream media propaganda talking points one by one by one by one. Anytime I try to interject, he gets emotional and upset. Then insists he doesn't really care and he's not on that side yet. That side is correct. Mine is wrong. But he's not against my side. He's against both sides. Yet, when I point out, okay, so you're neutral of the sides, but I can show one side does this, while the other side is, is lied about and does this, then I can show you. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, real, I'm getting sick. I just got sick today or yesterday. It's like the parallax, right? I said this before. People on top of the mountain can see two valleys. One valley can see the other valley. Those people can't see them or the mountain. The people at the bottom insist they're the only ones in the mountain. The people in the middle insist there's two colonies only on the mountain. And the people at the top can't convince either one that there's fucking three. Because they can see all three, and neither of those two can see all three. But they, they fucking, the frog jumps into the well and has babies. And after generations, there's that one frog that was still there since the beginning. And he goes, no, man, there's a whole other world out there. And they all say, no, you're fucking crazy. Until the one frog figures out how to get out of the well, and he goes, you know what? You're not going to believe this. That guy was right. There is a whole other fucking world out there. Huh. Huh. These people are full of shit. Well, what, okay, so the only thing he could fall back on that he's going to hold on to till his deathbed, because he can't provide anything to debate, anything to go against what I'm saying, he's bringing... Z literally zero to the table brings up Trump gas prices. I say no, also m wrong, incorrect information. You're listening to the people who craft and fabricate intricate lies on purpose as a job. And then they spew it to you and you're just believing it. They zoom in on a graph. Inflation is going down, see? No, let me tell you why that's been debunked and prove it to you why. Let me show you the whole thing. Factually, no. Look, look go on Google. His only thing. Can you show me that? Can you tell me a source? His only source was... Me go look on Google. Like a flat earther. Oh, Google it. That's your evidence that you brought? Me Google something. Okay, that's not... No, that's not the way a debate works. <laughs> Why do you think Earth is flat? Oh, Google it. I proved my point. 
Oh, you're not going to Google it? I win. No, that's not the way it works. U.S. retail gasoline prices rose in summer, but ended 2022 lower than the start of 2022. So when you look at the whole, when you look, yes, okay, so, and this is the thing, this is how they fucking fuck you. This is how they mind fuck you. While what they're saying is technically true, it's also a lie. Because it's, it's fabric, it's embedded in, it's a partial truth. Yes, it's partially true that gas prices were rising during Trump's administration. Right. Guess what else they did? They declined drastically. Guess why? Because of his policies. Anyway. He, he swore up and down, it's impossible. Gas was never $2. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <clears throat> 2022. The, the average U.S. retail price for regular grade gasoline, the price consumers paid to pump, averaged $3.95 per gallon in 2022. Ha, ha, see, ha. No. Wait. The price hit its 2022 high at $5.01 a gallon. Oh! Oh! Bef and then here's the absolute. That's like the black. That's the red herring or whatever. The fucking nail in the coffin thing. Not red herring. The fucking, you know, the final blow. And then this is the fucking decapitation of the point in Minecraft. Then... In June 2022, that happened before decreasing to $3.09 a gallon at the end of the year. Wah, 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 air horn, meme. Uh, oh, oh, meme. Oh, 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 oh. Looking ass. <laughs> Nothing personal, but okay. Uh, literally, okay, so when you want to say no, one foot doesn't consist of 12 inches. You're lying. You're missing. You're you're being uh, lied to. One foot has one inch in it. Right. When you zoom in and you look at one inch, but you know there's not only one inch in a foot. When you zoom out, a foot is a whole 12 inches. You're not seeing the whole picture. My friend, 2022 average. Four dollars. See, there you go. No, no, you're not listening. You're not listening. You're just seeing what you want to see, because da, 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 rose in summer, but ended 2022 lower. When you really look it up and you get past all the bullshit posts at the very top. Gas prices hit five dollars a gallon for the first time in all this. Yes, yes, true, true. That's what I said, and that's the after effects of what Biden did. Look at the trends. Look at the actions. See the direct correlation and why. So the lowest was like two dollars something when Trump was in office. year 2024 he's told me gas prices have not the average gas price i'm saying he's not understanding i'm saying the national average gas price has been rising incrementally slowly since 2021 two dollars and 42 341 344 now it's 319 Oh, see, it went from 344 to 319. Please stop. It's, it's gaslighting. It's gaslighting. Okay. September 341. From August 343. From August 19th, 350. Okay. 
August 12th, 3.53, so it's gradually, slowly starting going, starting to go down. It absolutely was $2 and something. If you look through everything and you find to the actual correct information, even, even Snopes, even Snopes, if you look it up, even they're forced to admit I'm correct. Either way, he said he's racist. Because that was the other thing. The final thing he could say. The only thing. Okay, do you have anything else? Well, you'll never beat this one. Because he's racist. And there's nothing you can do to change my mind, he said. But why do you say that? Why do you think that? I have never seen it. Yet I have seen a hundred people lying about that. And provably can show you why that is taken out of context. He says, there's no out of context. Out of context isn't a thing. He said the N-word. Therefore, he's a racist. I'm like, oh my God. I find the quote. What was the quote? And we'll end on this. How fucking clown world is this? The quote he was saying is that the N-word is one of the words that starts with N in the English language that should never, ever be spoken. But the only point he could make is that he said the word out loud. I'll say one more. That's absolutely insane. So if I said the word right now, it makes me become racist. Because he admitted, I personally am not racist. He said that about me. Well, I wouldn't be. I can't be. So, but if I said that magical word, poof. Like, snap my fingers. I physically will, in reality, become racist. Oh, okay, that's how it works. Okay. <laughs> All right. The other thing, why did he incite a riot? He didn't. Oh, well, they have a, why were they breaking all those windows? They weren't. The media lies to you constantly. Something happened where a couple people got out of fucking hand. Well, why did they go there and storm the White House and broke in? They didn't. Then how did they get in? The police let them in. And they were walking around. Well, I've never seen that. You've never seen the footage. And this is what I mean. Because people are living in a fucking MS fucking NPC bubble. If I could show you, will you... At least admit, I am not an incompetent fucking buffoon. Besides any of this, just me as a person, am I a fucking retard? No. You've told me before, I'm actually extremely intelligent. A lot more than a lot of people you know who are real smart. Yet, you won't even listen to me when I say, dude, I know what I'm talking about. You're not even curious, well, what do I have to bring to the table? Yet you've brought not a scrap, not a shred, not a piece of paper, not one link, not a citation, nothing. Pure hearsay, provably, and I brought up every single web page to show it. Come on, dude. Oh, okay, and then maybe one more thing. He's going to be a dictator. He's. What do you think is going to happen? 
He'll be in. He'll be president in four years. What do you think is going to happen when that's over on that day? I'm like, I don't, I don't, what do you mean? What's going to happen? Answer the question. I, I don't know how. What, what's going to happen when Trump is? He'll leave office, and then the new president will be sworn in. He doesn't say anything, and I'm like, "Well, but what's your rebuttal? Like, what are what's your point?" I'm calm. I'm I'm ha I'm just like, "Well, so what do you like?" So I mean, yeah, but nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna change, right? Okay, so he's pivoting again, and again, and again, and again, because there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to hide. We're in a circular room. You think there's corners? Where it's dark? No. Everywhere you can go, I'm there. There's, what do you mean? Show me. Oh, wait. I'm, uh, I want to go over here and hide. Oh, you can't. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, la, 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 la. I can't hear you. Wait. What do you mean? Show me. You can't. Well, he said it, he, he said it himself. He's going to be a dictator. He's going to be president forever. No, he didn't. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> it was a joke. Oh, what about, he said there's fine people. He even brought that up. The terrorists are fine people, he says. They've got this poor guy convinced. Trump literally thinks... Like, that he's Nazis and, you know, dictators are fine people. Every single thing that they fucking, like I said, they grab a thing, they create a narrative, they fucking distort it, then they just say it over and 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 over. It gets proven to be bullshit. They recreate it. Pollution part two over and over and over and over and over and over and over. No, see, look, they're saying it over and over. I proved it. You're wrong. Wrong. Show me one piece of paper, one one scrap, one link, everything. Well, I heard a guy, a guy said it, and he heard it from someone else. So, <laughs> guess I showed him. <laughs> no, he didn't show me anything. I'm not. All right, it's like, dude, literally like flat Earth. Even flat Earthers are smarter than that. Come on, dude. No, I think they're. It's it's both. Coming from a point of, I, I can't say smarter than that, like misinformed, misguided, holding on to irrational beliefs. You can, I think you might be able to be intelligent and be a flat earther. Don't hate me, Craig, FTFB, if you ever hear this, but I think you can be smart, intelligent. You're just completely fucking being irrational. You're being an asshole. Stop being an asshole. If you have any kind of intelligence, even a, even a, a piece, a grain, fucking put it to good work and go, huh, someone who's not retarded is telling me a thing is true. Don't fucking disrespect me and tell me I'm fucking, I don't know what I'm talking about. When you can't show me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't tell me I don't know where I'm from where I live, what color my hair is. You can't show me something, but I can show you my hair. I can show you where I live. I can show you what's in my hand. You can't show me that there's nothing in my hand, but I can show you. I have a lighter right here. It's yellow. It's a Bic. What are you bringing to the table? Uh-uh, Mike said I don't have a lighter. I do, my friend. It's right here. Oh, you have... you. You have proof that I don't, because uh, it's in a video. Just look it up. Just Google it. Okay, we're done at that point. It's <clears throat> no, I end up having 20. At this time, it was actually only eight, I think, or seven uh, tabs. I couldn't even just Google it. By the time I do, okay, I can. And in 30 seconds, I can show you. 10 videos debunking what you're saying, demonstrating you're wrong. 
Well, oh, it's, you just believe in everything? No. You can't tell what's true on TV, you know? No, it's not TV. What about my experiences and me saying, I went to a place, I saw a person stealing a thing. The person went on TV and said, I stole the thing. Am I watching TV and coming to the conclusion? Or is it possible that I could have been the person implicated while 20 people in my neighborhood are saying, guess what? He didn't do it. Here's why. You won't listen to them. You won't listen to me. You don't want to see the evidence. You just want to live in your bubble and believe the propaganda because you're afraid and it threatens your worldview.